I'm Michael Jennings. I've been a welder fabricator for 17 years. My name's Dan Gilbertson, and I am a, a master machine tool builder. I'm a manufacturing manager. I am a level two machinist, and I have been doing this for two and a half years. I'm a welder fabricator. I've been doing this for 30 years. And I'm the tool curb attendant and buyer, and I've been in the industry for six years. My name's Jim Martin. I'm a CNC programmer, and I've been in the industry for 11 years. I'm Ted, I'm a mechanical engineering intern, and I've been doing that for nine months. There are just so many facets that are, are in this industry that makes it interesting. I can't really think of, of any industry that doesn't have something that, that deals directly with, with what I do. We impact so many different industries and so many different projects. It's just amazing the number of things that we don't really realize are made through machining processes all the time. Metals are being used everywhere. It's not going to stop being made out of metal. They're, they haven't found some magical material that's going to replace steel anytime soon. I know that a lot of, lot of uh, people look upon uh, industry manufacturing as kind of low-tech, uh, uh, menial labor type of thing, and, and it's, it's not that at all. It's constantly innovative. Most of the companies you work for, there's no defined product. Everything's custom. But it's a very technical, very high-skilled job. Every time we buy something new, a new piece of machinery, the computer side of things is where it's all at. For us, it's always something different. We design custom equipment, so it's not the same repetitive product over and over again. I've been 11 years, and every day I learn something new, and every day there's a new challenge. It's so different from what I've seen in other industries where it's all paper pushing, and you actually get to see people make their parts, and they're so proud of what they do. I get to see these, these little things on computers, and then you go downstairs every once in a while, and you see just a room full of all these things you've been designing, and they're just huge. So that's pretty exciting. It'd be cool to see go somewhere and say, hey, I designed that, I made that. You can make anything from the rims on your cars, trucks, things like that, to every piece for a paintball gun, which is in fact something that I make. You can pertain this industry to a lot of things that you enjoy doing. If you're the kind of person that likes to tinker with things, to work on your own stuff, this is a perfect environment for somebody like that. You know, it's a great opportunity for people who like to work with their hands and want to make a good living at the same time. Boy, the first benefit that really comes to my mind um, is the security. The companies that have machine tools, particularly computerized machine tools, can't get enough qualified people to run them. There's a real high demand, especially in the machining side. We're continually looking for machinists. We have a great work schedule. We have very good medical benefits. I work 10 hour days, so I only have to work four days a week, which gets it kind of nice. I get to spend the last three days with my son. I've been with the same company for 31 years, so I've had pretty good security. Probably it was a week from my graduation I had a job, and since then I, I've not been at work at all. I've been working continuously. Fantastic job security. I mean, if you're willing to work at it, it's. It's a great place to stay. As a kid, I always liked breaking stuff. You know, I liked playing with Legos and building things, and uh, math and science were my strong points. Early in high school, sophomore year, I really became interested in machining and milling and lathes. We had a number of different industrial technology specific classes that then just propelled me on into college taking engineering and technology classes. I had no experience in machinery whatsoever. I didn't even know machine shops existed. But there's a lot of cross training that we get um, in whatever department we choose to go into. I liked computer programming, I liked drafting, and I liked actually machining parts. And what I do is all three of those together. I started doing metal work just because it's fun to create things and it's fun to build stuff. There's so much in the industry, so many places you can go. Many people in, in the, the companies that I have been to and seen have started in one direction and ended up um, staying within the industry, doing um, very different things. I started uh, cleaning parts actually, and now I'm a laser operator and I've been in the industry for four years. 
It's a career, it's not just a job. Well, it's definitely coming more specialized. I mean, you got design engineers who just do the design work, manufacturing engineers who take that and make it into a creatable object. Then you've got the people in the shop who are actually creating it. You can do anything from hands-on welding and, and sheet bending up to computer work if you want to. There's all different kinds of stuff you can do. Nothing's real, like, cryptic. I had no idea what I was getting into when I did it, <laughs> and once I figured out what it was, it was kind of right on. Now I understand what this stuff is. I didn't have no training at all at first, but once I got there, they actually saw that I was motivated and wanted to do stuff and learn. If you work hard, it, it, it will pay off. To make it in this industry, you really need to be able to work well with other people. You gotta be a team player, really do. More than anything that I've learned is that what you wanna really hire for is the attitude, the right attitude. Because the guys that really wanna learn and really wanna go after it, it's immediately obvious. You never stop learning. When you're doing this type of work, you're always problem solving anything. You have to decide how you're gonna make the part, and then you have to make it happen. You need to have an open mind. You need to not be afraid to ask questions. Someone who's positive, someone who wants to continually learn. Um, sense of creativity, obviously, is key. Being able to visualize what you want to create in your head. You have to uh, definitely be a, kind of a perfectionist. Attention to detail and having a really good attitude and really putting your best foot forward and wanting to continually learn. Everything is extremely technical, and it takes good people to make that happen. I feel it's a big challenge on our generation to take our nation to the next level. America is going to be competitive, and and stay in the game. We have to get a lot of our young people up to speed and with these skills. You get to create something from paper or a, a 3D model on a computer and turn it into a live piece of metal that you know actually fit form and function does something. I've been told manufacturing is a lot like an art and that the machinist is an artist and they work so hard to make a quality part. Knowing that I played a big part in that, that I built the machine that fixed their problem. I think that's, that's the biggest reward for me. It's creative, there's definitely still innovation going on. Machine is a great thing to do, like, for especially for kids, it's a lot better than working at a gas station. It's a lot funner than flipping burgers. <laughs> You're constantly on your toes getting stuff done, but it's to the point of where it's like, yeah, this is cool, you know, I'm learning how to do this, that, and the other thing. You're designing something new, you're, you're building it from scratch. When we get it, it's just a computer model, and to see the end result, is very satisfying. When you look at every building, every car, every bolt that's held together, our industry is a part of. And so society uh, can't function without us.